Hey, what's up guys? This is Anthony from Anthony's Customs, and for this review, we are looking at the Robot Damashi Pacific Rim Uprising Bracer Phoenix figure, which is an interesting one. It's kind of like in between the Gypsy Avenger and the Titan Redeemer figure. Does some things pretty well, some things not so much. It's a very bland color, so that doesn't really help it. And I know they were all just mostly molded and have very little paint on them, but this guy really could have used a little bit of a metallic finish or something. That drab tan just doesn't really capture your attention. It does have a little bit better paint though than the other one, so that's that's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and get this guy off the stand and take a closer look. This guy stands just about six inches tall, which makes him just about 15 and a half centimeters. So I'd mentioned this guy has better paint than the other one, and that's kind of true. He's actually got less paint on him, but there's a lot more of these little details throughout. So it looks a little bit better in that regard. Uh, but on the other hand, he's got fewer different colors in the molded plastics. He's almost all tan, so he doesn't quite stand out as much overall. But up close, he looks a little better, I think. And that's kind of just personal preference. He does have a couple more accessories. So we do have alternate hands for either side. These kind of wide open hands, which are nicely done. Two-tone. Very cool. And then we do have the guns that go on his chest and on his back, which are sculpted very nicely, which... Makes me want to mention that the sculpts on these guys are very clean overall. They're very nicely done. They're very, very crisp. The edges are nice and sharp and, and hard, and they look good. Uh, really, if you wanted to, now obviously you shouldn't have to, and you don't really have to because these do come in at a lower price point, but if you wanted to paint these up, they'd look fantastic. They still have pretty minimal articulation, but they, they do have really, really good sculpts, so a little bit of paint would go a long way on these guys if you really wanted to do that. Now, as far as articulation goes, the head's on a ball peg, neck's on a ball peg, but you can pretty much forget about it. <laughs> that neck is so far recessed in there, which is not the figure's fault, that's the design, so that's fine. But very, very minimal articulation. Uh, for the arms, we have a socket that will rotate around right here. And then we have a ball peg coming out of that, which has another ball peg. So it's a double ball peg, essentially. Uh, this guy has a lot more clearance, obviously, for his arm, so you have tons more range. And this shoulder pad is on a ball peg up top, and it doesn't really move too much other than to just afford you the range out of the rest of the shoulder, but this guy definitely has the best range in his arm. You can pretty much pose his arm however you want to, so that's a huge benefit. The other ones were a little bit more limited. He does have a bicep swivel. He has a double-jointed elbow, but goodness gracious, it's totally separated. The joint is okay up here, but then it's all the way at the top of the forearm, so the hinge... When you do that, when you bring this hinge out, you can stick your finger into his forearm. So that's not the best design. It really would have been better for them to just go single joint and let the arm rotate around that actual joint that's sculpted on there. That would have been probably more practical. Double ball peg for the wrist. Pretty decent range, but very skinny wrist. For the abdomen, uh, very minimal. You get a little bit of rotation out of it. Almost no leaning forward and back. Almost no leaning side to side. It's, it's pretty limited. For the hips, it's a ball peg going into the crotch, ball peg going into the hip piece, and then a ball peg going down into the thigh. He's also pretty limited down here just because of these big bulky hip pieces. But you can you can still get some pretty decent poses out of him, and it, it, they all look better than Gypsy Avenger, honestly. And I do believe his crotch piece is actually connected with a ball peg to the torso. Yeah, so you can move that around if you really wanted to. This piece in here doesn't really help with anything, but you can. So yeah, it's, it's cumbersome and awkward, but you can get some posing out of it, which I think will probably be enough for a, a bulky guy like this. I think it'll be okay. His knees are a little bit different. He has a single joint up there, and then another joint down here, which is a reverse joint, and it affords very little range, unfortunately. So you have just the one knee, and that's going to be it pretty much. And then for the ankle, double ball peg again. He's got decent range. You can bring the foot pretty far forward, pretty far back. And then you've got a decent ankle rocker too. So uh, I think this one might be my favorite. Honestly, I think Gypsy's my least favorite. It's got probably the best overall uh, aesthetic. But this guy and Titan Redeemer, I don't know, their names are so generic now. Uh, th what's this guy? Bracer Phoenix and Titan Redeemer. Whatever. They are, uh, I think they're my favorites. I like them more than, than Gypsy, but Gypsy definitely looks better. Either way, I, you, these guys are good enough for the price point. They're not going to be for everybody, but uh, if you're inter interested in this kind of thing, I think you're going to like these well enough. You're not going to feel cheated at all. You might want something higher end, which doesn't exist at the moment, but uh, for what these are, they're, they're pretty solid. You know, they're okay. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I have new videos up every single day. We talk about action figures, movies, TV shows, video games, all kinds of fun stuff. So make sure you come back for that. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. And in the meantime, 
keep collecting.